What if every story you've ever heard was part of a larger narrative, woven through time and space, connecting the ancient past to the present moment? Welcome to the journey through the New Testament, where every word, every verse, is a thread in the grand tapestry of the Christian faith. Have you ever wondered how the New Testament fits into the broader story of the Bible? Let me take you on a journey, not just through pages and chapters, but through the very heart of humanity's encounter with the divine. Picture yourself in a bustling marketplace in ancient Jerusalem, surrounded by the sights, sounds, and smells of a vibrant culture. You hear whispers of a man named Jesus, whose teachings are turning the world upside down. His story is just one chapter in the epic saga of the New Testament, a collection of writings that span centuries and continents. But why should you care? Because embedded within these sacred texts lies the key to unlocking the mysteries of existence, the purpose of life, and the promise of redemption. Introduction to the New Testament. Welcome, fellow seekers of truth, to the enchanted realm of the New Testament. Within these pages dwell tales of wonder and awe, of faith and doubt, of love and redemption. But before we embark on our odyssey through the corridors of time, let us first lay the groundwork for our exploration. Structure of the New Testament. The New Testament, a literary marvel comprised of 27 books, stands as a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Written over a span of 30 to 40 years by first-generation followers of Jesus, these sacred texts form the cornerstone of Christian belief. But what sets the New Testament apart from its ancient counterparts? It is not merely a collection of disjointed narratives but a carefully crafted mosaic, each piece interlocking with the next to form a seamless whole. As we traverse its hallowed halls, we encounter four main divisions, the Gospels, Acts, the Epistles, and Revelation. Together, they weave a tapestry of faith, chronicling the life, teachings, and legacy of Jesus Christ. But why should we read the New Testament alongside the Old? Because, my friends, they are two halves of the same divine narrative, each informing and enriching the other. Connection to the Old Testament. In order to fully grasp the significance of the New Testament, we must first understand its deep roots in the fertile soil of the Old Testament. Like branches stretching skyward from a sturdy trunk, the New Testament builds upon the foundation laid by its ancient predecessor. The Old Testament, with its tales of creation, covenant, and redemption, sets the stage for the grand drama that unfolds within its pages. It introduces us to a cast of characters, Abraham, Moses, David, whose lives are intertwined with the fate of nations and the destiny of humanity. But it is in the New Testament that the plot reaches its climax, as the promises and prophecies of old find their fulfillment in the person of Jesus Christ. He is the long-awaited Messiah, the promised son of Abraham, who comes to inaugurate a new covenant between God and humanity. The Gospels, portraying the life of Jesus. At the heart of the New Testament lie the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, each offering a unique portrait of the life, teachings, and ministry of Jesus. Like four masterful painters working on a single canvas, these evangelists capture different facets of the same divine mystery. Matthew, writing for a Jewish audience, presents Jesus as the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecy, tracing his lineage back to King David and emphasizing his role as the long-awaited Messiah. Mark, the shortest and most action-packed of the Gospels, portrays Jesus as a powerful miracle worker, casting out demons, healing the sick, and calming the stormy seas. Luke, the meticulous historian, provides a detailed account of Jesus' life, from his miraculous birth to his death and resurrection. Drawing on eyewitness testimony and meticulous research, Luke paints a vivid portrait of Jesus as the compassionate Savior who reaches out to the marginalized and downtrodden. And finally, John, the mystic and theologian, invites us into the innermost depths of Jesus' divinity, portraying him as the Word made flesh, the light of the world, and the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Through poetic language and profound symbolism, John invites us to contemplate the mystery of the Incarnation and to encounter the living presence of God in our midst. Acts, the early Christian community. As we turn the page from the Gospels to the Book of Acts, we find ourselves thrust into the heart of the early Christian community. Here, in the bustling streets of Jerusalem and the far-flung corners of the Roman Empire, we witness the birth of a movement that will change the course of history. Led by the indomitable spirit of the Holy Ghost, the apostles take up the mantle of leadership, boldly proclaiming the gospel message to all who will listen. From the miraculous outpouring of the Spirit on the day of Pentecost to the dramatic conversion of Saul on the road to Damascus, Acts is a chronicle of divine intervention and human response. But it is not just a story of triumph and triumph. 
It is also a tale of persecution and martyrdom, as the early Christians face fierce opposition from both religious authorities and secular powers. Yet, in the face of adversity, they stand firm in their faith, bearing witness to the power of love and forgiveness even in the darkest of times. Epistles, Letters from the Apostles As we journey further into the heart of the New Testament, we encounter a treasure trove of wisdom and guidance in the form of the epistles, or letters, written by the apostles to the early Christian communities scattered throughout the Roman world. These epistles, penned by luminaries such as Paul, Peter, James, and John, offer practical advice on how to live out the teachings of Jesus in everyday life. From matters of theology and ethics to questions of church governance and personal conduct, these letters address a wide range of issues facing the fledgling Christian movement. But more than mere instructional manuals, the epistles are also heartfelt expressions of love and concern, as the apostles labor tirelessly to nurture and support the communities under their care. Whether exhorting them to love one another fervently, to resist the temptations of the flesh, or to stand firm in the face of persecution, these letters serve as a timeless reminder of the enduring power of faith and fellowship. The Book of Revelation, Apocalyptic Visions Finally, our journey through the New Testament culminates in the Book of Revelation, a dazzling tapestry of apocalyptic imagery and visionary symbolism. Written by the Apostle John during a time of intense persecution, Revelation offers both comfort and challenge to its readers, inviting them to glimpse the cosmic drama unfolding behind the veil of human history. At its heart lies a vision of Jesus Christ as the triumphant ruler of the universe, whose victory over sin and death heralds the dawn of a new creation. But this victory is not won easily, for the forces of evil are arrayed against him in a final, cataclysmic showdown. From the opening vision of the glorified Christ to the climactic battle of Armageddon, Revelation paints a vivid picture of the cosmic struggle between good and evil, light and darkness. Yet, woven throughout its pages is a message of hope and redemption, as John assures his readers that God's purposes will ultimately prevail and that a new heaven and a new earth await those who remain faithful to the end. Conclusion as we bring our journey through the New Testament to a close, let us pause for a moment to reflect on all that we have seen and heard. From the humble beginnings of Jesus' ministry in Galilee to the triumphant vision of the New Jerusalem descending from heaven, we have witnessed the unfolding drama of God's redemptive plan for humanity. But our journey does not end here. For just as the New Testament continues the story begun in the Old, so too do we carry forward the torch of faith into the world around us. May we be inspired by the example of the apostles and the saints who have gone before us, and may we, like them, be faithful witnesses to the love and grace of Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. And with that, dear friends, I bid you farewell, until we meet again on the next leg of our journey through the pages of Scripture. Amen.